hey guys what's going on so today we're gonna have a look um, on anti-aliasing and how much it affects your render time and the quality of your render so um, in order to do this test i prepare that scene which is a um, boat navigating in the sea and you can see um, uh, even with my gp which is like a, a rtx 90 sorry rtx 4090 I cannot run this in real time you know if I press play now you can see it going super slow it cannot run it and the, the reason for it for this is because I have a bunch of uh, alembic file with a ton of particles you know I have the mist the splashes the mist the foam the liquid uh, I have a meta human also over here which is moving um, you know it's a pretty heavy scene to to render mm. so for this test I did a movie render queue you know it's um, simulation 2 as you can see and if you look at my render settings um, I have few console variables but most of uh, most of it what we're gonna look at it's anti-aliasing because anti-aliasing it's a parameter that affects a lot your render time and also the quality so um, what i wanted to understand is how much samples special sample and how much temporal sample i need to get my thing uh, good you know i don't want to to spend one night to to render a few frames I want to be as fast as possible and at the same time I want to be as much quality as possible. So my goal is to find the right balance, you know, between how many samples I need and how much time I will need to wait. So I did few samples, you know, first time without anti-aliasing, then I tried 2x2, two 4x4, two, four 8x8, four, eight eight. I also try 4x16, I try 16x16, 16 32x32 32 and so on. So what you have to think is like each time you double your samples, you double the render time. So if I, if I just disable, you know, I will wait almost nothing to render, like it, it goes super fast. If I, if I go to anti-aliasing, two by two i will already spend the double amount of time so from uh, one second i will spend two if i go four by four i will spend double than double and so on you know double 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 so um, if i go like my my maximum uh, quality render i try it it's 64 by 64 so 64 by 64 with if we do the math sorry 64 by 64 it's like 4000 samples you know 4000 sample that means each frame you have t in with my config then it will depend of uh, the scene and the, the, the gp you have and so on but for my scene and my config uh, uh, 4000 sample i have to wait one minute and a half for each frames you know so if i have a bunch of frames i i gonna wait forever for this so I don't want to wait that much. I want to find the, the right balance to have good quality and to don't wait um, so so long. So guys, for you, I, I did few few tests here and you can see my different sequences uh, render in X year and, and uh, on each frame, I render how many samples. Here there is no anti-aliasing. Here we have two by two, here we have four by four. 4x16, 8x8, 16x16, 2x100, why not, 32x32, and 64x64. So first guy, I'm gonna render them um, like just like just like this, and we and uh, let me know in the comment if you see a big big difference because without anti-aliasing, I spend, I mean, it's almost real time, and with 64x64, 64 it's like one and a half minute per, per frame. So let's p let's press play and see the difference. It's one second for each frame. 
to sleep once and move once more. Because it's enough, you know, to to understand how much it affects the quality. So if we see at just just scale one, I don't see I don't know you guys, but I don't really see big difference, you know. But if you really look at it, you you see you can see huge difference. Let me show you guys. Um, so here it's like no anti-aliasing. Look at the look at look at my my face for example. Here here is my meta human. You can see the face. It's it's almost disappeared. Super blue. Yeah? Nothing. If we go two by two, it's the same. You know, between no anti-aliasing two by two. In that scene, because again, each scene is gonna look different. If you if you have no moving object in your scene, this is how I understand. Let me you know in the comments if you think that difference. But if you have no moving object, the spatial sample count is not so important. But if you have a lot of moving object like me, like the foam, the boat, uh, the water, and everything, it's important to have spatial sample count to increase them. You know. But if your scene is like just like a, um, a, um, a fixed camera um, looking at like fixed objects, you can just set this to one and increase the temporal special count. And you will have like super quality already, you know. But in my case, because I have moving objects, I think it's important to increase the special sample count. Again, let me know in the comment, guys, if, if you disagree with me, but this is what I found out from my test. Look why. For example, uh, let's go back in the sequence render. Mm. So again, here we are, no anti-aliasing, two, four. Look, when I put four by four, here I have four by four. Look the differences. My head appears already. But if you look at here, the highlight, it's jiggling a lot. A lot of noise here. Look at that. Here I'm, I am 4 by 4. I have 4 special sample count and 4 temporal sample count. Look at that. Boom. Still a lot of. If I go more, look. We can see huge difference here. And here I am, 4 by 16. If I go 8 by 8, here is this next one. 8 by 8. If we would do the math, guys, 8 by 8, it's 64. But 4 by 16 is 64 too. So the render time is almost the same. You know? And if you look at the quality, it's pretty similar. You know? 4 by 4. And here it's... 8 by 8, 4 by 16 or 8 by 8, sorry. 4 by 16, 8. I don't know guys here, but I don't see any difference. Watch it again. Tag. Tag. You know, it's super subtle, but... It's almost the same, and the render time also are the same. I, it will be hard for me to, to to choose which one is the best. Then next next stage we are done double the samples, so we are like sixteen by sixteen. Uh, sorry, sixteen by sixteen. Let's put the calculator on again. So we were eight by eight. We were like sixty four and sixteen by sixteen. We are two. Uh, 256 so it's more than double like it it's four times more and you can see we can see a, a nice difference let's back here you know this part was causing problem yeah. hey you can see you can see your difference again if you see at like the real scale you know like scale one let's put it like that you know it's not it's not so obvious again but when you look at it nicely it makes a difference in my eyes I mean, let me know if you disagree with me you know 8 by 8 16 by 16 
and here we are like at the maximum 32 by 32 and 64 by 64 so if you do the math again 64 by 64 is uh, 4000 samples it's a way overkill to me you know way overkill because uh, if i remember good with that scene uh, i'm rendering in just in hd you know uh, let me just let me show you my settings mm. My render is like 19020 by by uh, one 1000, you know, so mm, it's kind of HD standard um, resolution. And if I put in anti-aliasing 64 by 64, I'm waiting one minute and a half per frame. I don't want to wait that much. But if I, if I see the quality, I can see a, a difference, 64 by 64. Look at the highlight. If I compare again to the phone. So I have nice highlight, but, but if I check at 32 by 32, which is mm, two times less rendering, so it's like a, about 40 seconds per, fr per frame with my config. Look guys, I can see the it, difference. So I think, and, and let me go back to 16 by 16. No, this is 2 by, this is 16 by 16, yeah. It's not the huge difference, huh? 16 by 16, 32 by 32. You can see, like, almost nothing. So I think for that one there, I will go for 16 by 16. Because when I see both, well, 32 by 32 is slightly better. But compared to the time I need to render that, I don't think it's it's it's, it's worth it for me. You know, guys, I'm gonna show you in rendering at the end of this video all the all this frame render, and I would like you to to tell me in the comment if you see a huge difference between no aliasing. 2 by 2, 4 by 4, 4 by 16, 8 by 8, 16 by 16, 2 by 100, 32 by 32, and 64 by 64. I would like you uh, you guys to, to tell me in the comments where you see the difference, you know, and where you think uh, I could stop the samples. Because as I as I as I told you, I want to I want to render fast. I don't want to to spend one night to render a few frames. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show you at the end of this video, like right now, um, all the all the sequences, and I would like you guys to to tell me what you thought about it. Okay, cheers, guys. Okay, again, and I'm, I'm gonna do it again, but with zoom. Here we start at no anti-aliasing. Another plot, let's try here. We can see smoother and smoother. Huh? It's not a huge difference, but we can see it. spot let's have a look here and again in full screen guys let me know your thoughts about it I, I hope uh, this comparative help you out in your workflow. No, 
I know sometimes you can overkill it. Sometimes you put like way more uh, samples, special samples and top of the samples, just to get big quality. But sometimes you can just reduce them and have no difference almost in your own. So it's important to find the right balance because you don't want to spend too much time for your renderings. You want to find the right balance, you want to find the right quality. And again, it will depend on your scene. If you have like a super static object, just go increase the temporal sample count and keep the special sample count like super low, you know. You can go for one special count and 64, 32, one, 128 and try to increase try it's it's i think it's nice to render just one second of your uh, your thing so you don't have to wait forever and you can make easy comparative between all the scene so guys i hope you like this video mm, let me know in the comments um, if you have an idea to improve this i i would love to hear from you ciao ciao